Hey guys, welcome into Rock Painting 101. I have a fun uh, little drawing that you can do on a rock today. I'm using a circle rock, but you could definitely do this on anything uh, that you wanted to. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start drawing and kind of explain what I'm doing as I go along. So you wanna pick your point on your rock where we're going to have a, a, an optical illusion happen here. And we're just gonna create basically our hole. And it will all make sense as you go along. You probably saw the picture at the very beginning. So we just start by doing a very shallow little dip. And then we're going to curve our color out to the right. And color our line, sorry, and curve out to the left as well just like that. Now you guys know how much I love to do things in in rainbows so <laughs> I'm going to make this into a rainbow uh, design as well. So I've got all my rainbow colors up here so we want to split this into six pieces here. So imagine this in thirds going down inside. So I'm just going to go a straight line up in two spots here. We're going to go up and then we're going to kind of fold over and go off and to the right. And you could take it as far out onto the edge of the rock as you want to. And then this one, we're gonna go up and fold out to the left. And then we're going to come back here and pull this line to the side. And then here in the front, we're gonna do the same thing, um, except we're going to just have a very slight bend and come out to the edge here slight bend and come out to the edge here. All right, as simple as that. Now, if you would like to, depending on how many lines you wanna make, I'm gonna split each of these sections into two, just so I don't have a large spaces of color. So I'm just gonna come here like this. I'm gonna split this one in half, split this one in half, split this one in half. And we can kind of play around with our lines a little bit more once we are adding our colors. Did I split this all in half? Make sure I have 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. One, two, three, four, five. So the front isn't split in half. So I think I maybe missed this one. All right. So you can kind of see the illusion, I guess you could say, um, starting already. I can already tell I kind of want to fix this one here to go a little bit more on this side. So you can kind of move around your lines a little bit um, because we've got the Posca pens. We're going to be able to kind of go over some of these black lines with our color. So I'm going to start in an area where I know it's nice and dry. paper here I always, and I can't find my medium sized red or blue right now but you could probably do this whole thing with your uh, medium sized pens or your fine tip sorry this is technically the medium the fine tip the three M's so we're gonna go red here since I'm working right on the rock I could have base coated this out white and probably kept this to one coat but I figure since I'm switching colors so much, I'll be able to do a couple coats on each of these. So I'm gonna fast forward this. I'm just gonna color in each one of these blocks. You can take this color right over the edge. I think I'll end up doing down the sides on each of these. So one coat all the way around. Um, you can tell I kind of got off my main line there. Here, I'm gonna use this to point. I've got something to point with here. So see right along here, we need that main line to create the illusion, this little hook here. And right here, I kind of overlapped too much. 
So right here coming forward, I'm gonna need to fix that spot. We need that black line, even if you don't have the line, to kind of stay intact there. That shape, that um, drop. See how that made the big difference right there? Just adding those two little dots of color. All right, so I've got to let this first coat dry completely um, before going over it with the second coat of color. That way these colors really pop off the rock. So I'm just gonna stall the video out here for a second um, and let this dry and then we'll be back. Okay, I finished up the second coat of the uh, colors. This orange still needs a little bit more on the top and down here, but. The main shading we're gonna do is down here where it appears things are going down into this kind of void that we've created. I did also take my paint and go along the outside edges. I have just a regular brush. This is a four over one is what it says on it. And I've got just a wet napkin here just cause I just want my brush to be wet. I just don't want it to completely dry when I go in here. I'm going to take my 1M pen and very carefully go in just at the bottom of each one of these colors and I'm going to add the stripe that goes down into the bottom here. I'm just going to add one in between each of the colors there. And we're going to start with a little bit, so just a little bit of dampness on our brush. And then I'm just going to kind of wiggle on that black. We're gonna kind of create a little bit of a shadow down here. And we wanna be very careful not to go over where that arch line would be. So once we get that black kind of moving a little bit, like so, we're going to wipe off some of our extra and we can kind of pull that kind of up onto our colors a little bit. And it won't take a lot. And if you get too much black near the top, just clean off your brush. Is that in the frame? Yeah. Clean off your brush. You can kind of work it back and forth a little bit there. Down in the shadows there. There we go. Now you gotta decide where you're going to have your shape kind of pull up and over. I am going to take, I've got over here off to the side, my little one and pen here. And we're going to create our, our bends again here, just very lightly. Decide where it's kind of bending down and in. You don't want to have the shadow go beyond that too much. So now that those are on there, oh, this is gonna be down in there a little bit. We can have a little bit of this pen down here as well. And again, just real slow. Didn't put any more moisture on the brush. Anything you can wipe off the black off your brush. There we go. Once you get that shadow in there really will start to make it seem like it's going in. And I do want to have each of my colors separated by this black line. So I'm going to come in here and I'll have to clean up a few edges. But I'm going to come in here and this is the number one tip. I'm going to come in separate each of these lines. Okay, so I'm going to finish doing my lines over my edges and I've got to do a second coat on some of this edge stuff and then we'll show it off at the end for you. Alright, so I was cleaning up my lines and I got a little carried away with my shadowing. I was pulling up a little bit more shadow. So if you happen to do that and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I ruined my rock, just go back with your color and you want just to create a lip where your shadow falls in to your hole, basically. So you want that defined space where 
the lights hitting it when it's on the top before it goes down into that hole. So if you accidentally get carried away like I did and get your shadow going crazy, just make sure that you go back with your color and you can use a brush to kind of pull that color. Just make sure that you get that kind of lip where your color is gonna fall in to the hole. You can redo your black lines if you need to. Don't worry about that. That's easy enough. Oh, whoa. Make sure you're going in with a clean brush. It's just about to go into that orange with the very red. Almost looks like you could dive right in, right? You can dive right into that rainbow rock. Almost looks like a rainbow donut. I did promise my daughter to make some donuts out of these rocks. So I'm gonna let that dry. We'll do one more touch up with the black. Got a little dark on me there. Maybe I can get some of that black up still. I'm just taking my damp rag here and just kinda, it hasn't been sitting here that long. I'm trying to pull up just a little bit of that black. It got just a little too dark on me. I want to be able to see the colors down inside there. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. I'm going to stop messing with this before I, I tend to do this to myself. So um, we're going to add that black lines back in. Those are the main thing that make it sink down. There we go. And we're going to call this rock done. Does it look like you could just go right in there, right? Let's see here. If you could put it sideways, it looks like you could just tilt the rock and look inside, but you can't. It's a cool optical illusion. You can definitely do this with any color you want or make a donut. Maybe I'll make a donut next. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you give something fun like this a try. Think outside the box a little bit. And we'll see you soon with another fun rock painting idea. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Bye-bye.